Hey everybody, what's going on? Chuck the FNG here, and I am back with a little bit more of the Outer Worlds, and uh, we're currently fighting the FPS here. Uh, but we are back, uh, just checking out what we can do here. It's been a while since I've played, so we gotta kind of take a look at what's going on here. Uh, for main quests, in terms of what we're doing for the DLC for Murder on Eridanos, Eridanos, whatever you want to call it, um, we need to go report to Ludovico about um, Black Hole Birdie. At some point, uh, the man who chafed, we need to go talk to Dr. Goodnight. And we also need to go do the Lord of Blight. So, we need to go talk to Cedric at some point. So, that's what I'm going to go do now. Uh, I, I think that's probably the best thing to do because it's right here. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's been a while since I have played. So, you're going to have to give me a couple seconds to kind of re-familiarize myself with what's going on here. Uh, Does the Underground run this place? Looks a lot cleaner than the groundbreaker yeah it does um so yeah we're gonna have our conversation in here see what we can do you you got an appointment how dare you okay appointment mm, we'll just go with no then get no an right, investigator yeah. no appointment no talking to Mr. Kincannon. Uh, we'll keep going. They don't pay me to be friendly. They pay me to keep hooligans out of Mr. Kincannon's hair. No, oh, I don't have charm. Hm. Not entirely out of the question. Convince me. Oh. Uh, merchandising information. Multi-million bit bit now. Uh, inspector is here to see Cedric. There will be no other outcome. And you could put in a good word... Uh, I could put in a good word about... That was Cedric about his incredibly helpful secretary. I'm just gonna go with number two. Inspector, you said. Well, maybe he'll appreciate your blunt charms. Maybe not. We'll see what he has to say. Mr. Kincannon got an inspector here demanding to see you. Want me to call the guards? No, thank you, Eileen. I've been expecting him. Send him up, please. You gonna tell me I can go upstairs now, or...? I need a, well, yeah, I do need to pick that one. It'll take zero seconds to do so. Alright. Nice office. Nice guns. Ah, Inspector. Eileen is my right-hand woman and the finest assistant to ever grace this office. She is also tremendously skilled in causing physical harm. I recommend you do not insult her with any further attempts at intimidation. Now then, here for my alibi, I assume. Another murder? Drunk raptidons? Black Hole Birdie, practicing his hacking in the middle of the street? Uh, stop me if it's one of those, or I'll just keep guessing. Um, do the same thing, but with quotes. Oh, I know about Drunk Rat. We're going with this one. Sounds as though you've already sorted it out yourself. All right. Did he really? <laughs> My word, I hope you shot him. Clearly someone out there wants you thinking I sent my goons after you. But I can't fathom who would benefit from tarnishing my reputation like that. Can you? Yes. Actually. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult your intelligence. I'm used to working with Lou. You see, I hope you won't hold it against me. So, as you've deduced, I did not send anyone from Slug after you, nor is it likely they assigned themselves that task. Still, I am sorry for the trouble, Inspector. Well, that's settled. I assume you'll want to know where I was the night of Helen's murder. Let's see. That night, I was... Ah. Torturing Elliot Nasser for information on missing cargo. 
That was a messy one. Didn't break until nearly noon the next day. Can you imagine? Um. An excellent question. I had his body dropped off the edge of the land complex. I'm not sure what happened to it from there, scientifically speaking. Maybe it dissolved? Ultimately, though, it doesn't matter. You'd be a fool to believe me, regardless of what I told you. People lie, and I am, incriminatingly, people. I like this guy as a character. I'm frustrated with him as an inspector. Wow, you're a real piece of shit. Eh, no, I've done all kinds of shit. Uh, so your alibi is that you were busy murdering someone else. Which, as I said, you should not trust. If it helps, however, you might consider pursuing not my means, but my motive. Why in the name of the architect would I kill Halcyon Helen? She was making me a fortune. I'm considering a line of commemorative merchandise. Still, that's nothing compared to what Helen would have made us in the long run. I'd offer to assist you in your work, but I have a mystery of my own to solve, I'm afraid. Oh, Elliot stole from me, all right. Alas, you're right in that his was a singular, isolated incident, and as such, does not resolve a concerning broader trend. Items are disappearing from slug storage and processing warehouse. The thefts began a week before Helen's unfortunate death, and there have been more instances since. <laughs> before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. I'll take the case. <laughs> I don't know. Um... I, I like this. I also like this. I also like this. So, whichever one I let go of first, it will be. Nothing unsavory. And nothing Ludovico shouldn't know about, if that's your concern. I'm quite serious when I say Slug is a legitimate business. As to the specifics, I'm not sure. The warehouse foreman should be able to tell you. <laughs> Before you ask, I know the difference between car... We just went over that. I'm not sure. I'm only confident there is one. That the thefts began mere days before Helen's untimely demise is an extraordinary coincidence. I'm not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector. I do not trust it. All right. Um. Fool's errand right now. I can go with two. Has it? I wonder. How much of your luck has been luck? And how much are you downplaying as chance? Regardless, this will be fun. You out in the field, chasing down leads. Me, scheming in my office, preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. <laughs> Th this man is, uh... Interesting. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't say no to a violent crime lord. Whoever's behind this going to jail, not to you. Oh. Uh, just uh, no unspeakable mangling in front of me, please. I'd, I'd like to commit my own horrific bodily harm, thanks. I'm going with number four. Oh, I never subcontract out that type of work, Inspector. You'll want to speak with Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I've cleared her as a suspect myself, but... Should she refuse to cooperate, shoot her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. If she won't cooperate, tell me and I will shoot her. And do feel free to <laughs> search my office for clues while you're here. Don't hold back on my account. Was there something else you wanted to discuss? Constable Keene? Now that is a damn shame. Am I right to think this wasn't a workplace accident? We worked for different companies. That doesn't mean I wanted her dead. I played no role in the good constable's death. 
None. I'm flummoxed. I'd nearly forgotten how that feels. It's quite unpleasant. Thank you for informing me of Constable Keen's passing. When you find her killer, please be certain to make them suffer. We may have been on opposite sides of the law on occasion, but we were not enemies. Perhaps it will shock you to hear her loss saddens me. Maria was a decent soul, and law knows those are in short supply around here. A little square, perhaps, <laughs> in her dedication to the rules, but good nonetheless. I'm also saddened to have lost an occasional drinking buddy. She was quite good at cards, you know. She was fond of a zero G, so I cannot begin to imagine why. But let's discuss something else. Do you have other matters requiring my attention? The original incident? Well, I made him an offer he should have refused. I'm gonna go with the Godfather option here. What? No. Law, <laughs> no. Why in the architect's name would you think that? Our combative relationship stems from paperwork, mundanely enough. Rizzo's contracted sublight to construct the Eridanos atmospheric complex. Had Lou wanted Rizzo's to retain full control of Eridanos, he shouldn't have skimmed the revised contract I sent him. Lou's an administrator, for law's sake. I thought he would adore all the fine print I added. Uh... Still technically visible to the human eye, but only just. You're quite good at this. It was all perfectly legal, too, which irked Lou to no end. My power grab, as Lou called it, planted the seed of hatred. And Lou, obsessed with what should have been, has made sure to water it daily with his bitterness and anger. All right. To his credit, he has tried. Slug's control of Eridanos is a crucial step in my long-term plans for Sublight. The board needs to see irrefutable proof we are a respectable, legitimate business. Okay. Because one day soon, Sublight will obtain a seat on it. Meanwhile, our dear administrator is still laser-focused on old slights, which can be a nuisance. He's grown increasingly desperate to catch Slug with our hand in the proverbial cookie jar as of late, convinced we're involved in less-than-legal business opportunities. Um... Wait, let's go with number three. Now let's go with number one. I wish I could wink, but it always looks like I have something caught in my eye. Okay, let's go with number one, see if we have Very any more well. questions. A few. Helen was strangely curious about the private business operations around Eridanos. She said it was role research, but how much business know-how does one actor truly need for an action picture? I also arranged to have Helen supplied with mag picks, bypass shunts, and other hacking tools. She wanted to buy in bulk. That she bought in bulk? Not particularly. It takes time to learn to use tools like that deftly. I wonder, did she run out of time in the end? That is the question, isn't it, Inspector? Tell me, do you really believe Helen's death was a mere crime of passion? Or one of petty career jealousy? Hmm? This murder is bigger than Miss Helen's personal life. Bigger than her latest moving picture. I don't have number two. Man. Her actions in the time leading up to her death do not align with those of an actor on Eridanos solely to promote Spectrum Brown. Stay sharp, Inspector. Now is not the time to lose focus. 
Because whoever did kill Helen is not going to come forward so easily. I might. I just might. Your point, Inspector? Uh. Yes, I suppose you have. Be very careful, Inspector. I'd very much like to see you still around for the grand finale. Whenever it comes, whatever shape it takes. One moment, if you please, Inspector. I've answered your questions. I believe it's my turn to ask you a question now. What, or who, made you decide to investigate me? Uh, I'm gonna go with number three. Because I feel like he'd be able to see through a lie. This guy is like... Savant level smart. I can't tell you that. Yeah, I'm going with number three. Understandable. A man of my standing would naturally be tied up in all this, whether he wishes to be or not. Now then, did you need anything else? Nope. All right. I'm going to find the clues here. Timeline discrepancy detected. Oh, right. Which one is that? Number Five. three. This copy of TK contains 142 fewer pages than a standard copy. The missing pages were likely removed to create sufficient space for the hidden listening device inside. Transmission receiver location unclear. Inspector, please consider speaking into the device in order to trace the transmission and reveal the receiver's location. <laughs> Moo. Poor woolly cow impression transmitted. Transmission analysis complete. While the precise location of the receiver could not be pinpointed, it has been narrowed down to a smaller, approximate range. Analysis inconclusive. However, there is a minor accumulation of dust particles present on the book's uppermost surface. I don't want to taste the dust. What? We'll, we'll just. The area within a 0 0.5 meter radius of the book possesses a dust coating comprised of at least twice the number of particles. Number two. That is highly likely, Inspector. What's that you found? No, wait, don't tell me. Let's save it for the big reveal once you've solved the case. I like this guy. All right. Well then. Take that ammo. We'll climb down. <laughs> I keep forgetting I dress Felix up like that. All right, receiver location and the foreman. I think we can go talk to the foreman right, first. Days are over. Actually, no. We're we're gonna go over to that. To the receiver location. They're both close, but we're we're kind of on on this pathway anyway. Timeline discrepancy detected oh, nearby. Look at you. Transmission endpoint discovered. The receiver in this book matches the transmitter to the listening device found in Cedric's office. It's somewhat grime-covered. <laughs> Due to the high level of foot traffic in this area, this unit is unable to determine who placed the device. Based on the accumulated mix of sludge and detritus, the receiver has been present since approximately a week before Helen's death. Detritus is a good word. Alright. Oh, well, we have it. <clears throat> now we gotta figure out what to do with it. Well, I can't go through there. Though I'd really like to. Alright. Currently making a, a, a to-do list today. Oh. 
Hello. <clears throat> Hi there. Sorry, this area is off limits to port vision. Oh, wait half a second. You're the inspector. Sorry about that. I'll buzz you right in. Okay. Feel free to have a look around, sir. That guy is holding a hammer. Can I, uh, do I have stuff to sell? <laughs> oh, I certainly do. Um, I don't have any junk to sell. Never mind. All this stuff I want to keep. Most, well, most of the stuff is not good. So we'll sell that, sell that, sell that. And the rest is what I want to keep. So this is where Slug keeps all its contraband, right? Probably. 